I was supposed to be i was supposed to, my last day was supposed to be tuesday like i told you guys before but um i wanted to leave on friday the pay week ends today there was just no point in me coming for two days next week it just didn't make no sense to me so uh, yeah today was my last day walked out that bitch didn't look behind me chapter closed um i got another package for my little lash project i got going on I got a lash pillow, so I'm going to open it for you guys. Just give me a second because I got to sit you guys down somewhere. memory foam this is how it looks and their neck like goes right here it feels really soft i'm gonna have my brother try it out it, but it's black and it's really big which is good i guess and i paid well, i'm also not paid shit because there's no price on it but this is the lash pillow guys i'll leave the link if anyone wants to get it good morning guys whoa okay i got a flat top so it's morning it's sunday i'm so proud of myself because i'm being consistent this week with my vlogging so amazon just came and brought me more stuff for my lash cart so um i'm about to open this stuff for you why not this sensor is so annoying like literally like I gotta hold the camera with one hand like I can't do that let me see if I put it up here I hate putting my camera up places because 9 times out of 10 it's gonna fall and I'll be feeling like that girl from TikTok and she'll be like girl don't do it I already did already did and then camera be half broke so i opened it so i'm gonna just try and hold it with un one arm and show you guys so i can at least see myself when i'm taking it out so so i brought some swabs some brushes to get to my clients and they have little sparkly they're like glittery and i got this for four dollars no i got this for four dollars actually It comes with like 50 of the micro swabs and then it comes with the spoolies so these ones are just regular they don't have like the glittery stuff on it but these ones I think I paid ten dollars for or maybe even cheaper than that I don't think I paid more than ten dollars for this I got some lash primer I wanted to try this out first because everybody told me about the lash box LA lash primer that that's really good but I'm gonna try what's in the budget first and see if I like that because you know people be doing stuff for the hype because of the name and you know there be a lot of good quality shit on Amazon that they be selling for twice triple quadruple the price on anywhere else so we're gonna try that out first so anyways I have brought the micro swabs because girl this week we are taking clients I'm going to work on um I'm gonna show you guys later how I'm going to make um my first kind of like ad um it's gonna be more so of like 
a custom ad so I'm going to get some pictures that I think would fit it would fit my aesthetic kind of I'm gonna go on Pinterest and look for pictures and then I'm going to make my first ad for my first promo so I'm gonna show you guys that later once I finish editing this video but um, I need my hair braided in some straight bag gel braids because this hair is a mess. I cannot show y'all my hair because it is so damaged. Like, and I'm just so upset with myself because I was lit I'm literally editing this video. And I'm like, damn, my hair looks so healthy and so good. Like, what the f did I do? Okay, Miss Mamas, we are back in action. Okay, <laughs> but um, yeah, so we are back with the jail braids because I feel like every time. I have my real hair out that's when it gets damaged the most so from now on it's all we're not doing this no more like no if there's not a wig on it it's gonna be in braids because I'm not I'm not I'm not I have good hair like I have good hair and every time I get the chance to even touch it a little bit that shit just breaks right off so um I'm about to show you guys how I'm gonna make my first like promo ad I guess you could say for my lash brand i found a couple cute pictures on pinterest i'm gonna show you guys in a second but let me get myself situated okay guys so um i'm gonna show you guys what i got going on here i went on pinterest and i just looked up like heart designs um and i found a couple of oh my god let me i want to make sure you guys can see it so i found like a couple uh like cute hearts i think i'm gonna do this one or this one or maybe this one i think i like this one i'm torn between these two because i like the whole little brown nudish kind of thing it looks really cute to me um especially it was really cute for valentine's day i feel like i've seen a lot of people with their nails like this for valentine's day but i'm gonna start there i'm going to upload this onto um my instagram and I'm gonna edit it on there because Instagram has a lot of cute, like, uh, you know, cute little graphics. I think I'm gonna use this one. I think I'm gonna use this one. I'm trying to think what I want, like, what text I want. They have, like, a lot on Instagram. I mean, kinda, not really. I really like the cursive. But I know that there's an app, too, where you can find fonts. I'm trying to think let me let me try something out really quick so i was trying to think of like ideas of like what exactly i was going to put on my little flyer so i'm thinking i might do one like separately for priceless and then like so i'm gonna put the, i'm gonna do the priceless first on this one i'm gonna just type in in an in instagram like prices and see what pops up I want something like aesthetically cute though so I'm looking up literally like gifts for prices and I'm just gonna find one that's not moving because you have to get one that's not moving so that when you save it it'll save like for a video so I don't really see any cute ones on here I'm kind of shocked so I might have to type it in myself I'm gonna just type I'm gonna just type priceless I don't know which font I like I kind of like this one because it looks like, you know, classy, bourgeois. So I think I'm going to use that one. I want it obviously bigger. And um, I want it underlined. See, this is why I have to be at my social medias more because I don't know how to do shit on here. I might have to watch a video, guys. I'm going to show you guys once I finish and then I'll, tell, I'll explain what I did. Because this is going to take some time and um, I want to make sure I get this shit right. And you know, it has to look professional. So I'm going to show you guys once I finish. Guys, okay, update. So I ended up using Canva because they just had more stuff on there. Like fonts. And look, I love it. I need it to focus. I need you to focus. Like I, I need you to focus. So this is the finished product. And isn't it just so cute? Bro, focus. Like, this camera never wants to let me be great. I swear. I don't know if it's because I'm showing it to you on my phone. Okay, there we go. It's focused. Like, isn't it so cute? And I'm going to do another one for my promo sale, which is going to be like a bestie sale. So I'm going to do that one next. And I'm going to find some fairies to put on it. But 
I just love it. I love, love, love it. It's just so cute. So yeah, guys, and I did this on Canvas. That's the name of the app that I used. And it only took me like 10 minutes. I'm Hey so I just started my new job that I told you guys about in the last vlog so I started that this week I started that yesterday and um that's going really good Ooh, put you guys over here. so I started my new job yesterday because today's Tuesday yesterday I also had a biopsy on my foot um so I don't know if you guys know but I've been dealing with like a lot of like eczema type of issues but like i've had this like ongoing for years i had went to the dermatologist last week and i had to come in yesterday for a biopsy because i wanted to take a piece of my skin to see if it wasn't like any type of underlying disease or if i have any damage from the sun to my skin so they took a piece of my foot out because i have these i have because i have these like um like dark spots on my arms um and i also have them on my feet and a little bit on my hand if you guys haven't been able to tell so um they just took a piece of my skin because they were originally going to take it out of my arm but i was too scared to get to take it out of my arm just because i like from what i already from like the piece that they took out of my foot i'm so glad i had them take it out of my foot instead of my arm because girl i'm gonna show you guys if you guys don't want to see skip over the next like 30 seconds right now but i'm gonna show you guys this is literally my foot right here this is what my foot looks like this is how it looked since yesterday and it looks disgusting my mom keeps trying to say oh, it's not that big of a deal it looks disgusting like it looks disgusting so um yeah i have to wait for that to heal up they were going i don't know why they didn't just stitch it closed i also showed you guys as well last week of me this week i'm also going to show you guys how i'm going to try and get some clientele because i have all my lash stuff ready to go like literally everything is set up i have everything and it's like now i'm trying to get customers like after i have everything now so this one i'm going to take you guys along with me because hopefully i get my first client i only did my friend these are my friend's lashes this was actually my first time lashing her they came out really good that was my first time it did take me a little over two hours to do but they still came out good at least for my first try it came out really good and they are i so i'm i don't know if i really want to name the set so i just named that set that i did on her the fairy freestyle i think that's like what most of my hybrid and volume sets are going to be like they're going to be fairy freestyles because that's the name i came up with for it so um i just wanted to show you guys the bed i am on my break right now also um i'm working remotely if you guys aren't you know i'm working remotely from home with my new job so i'm on my lunch break <laughs> so i'm gonna show you guys what i did i wanted to set up my bed um because i'm gonna start reaching out to people but i want to make sure everything's like good to go so i'm gonna show you guys i set up my bed with all the blankets and the sheets that i got and then the pillow and it just looks so it came out perfectly so i want to show you guys how it looks so this is my lash bed guys it's pretty long right so this is how it came out and i'm just the only thing i really need to get is like a tall spinny chair to keep me in the corner over here i'm probably gonna move the bed down a little longer and just have my door open when i have clients but it's like my room is so ignore the laundry my room is just so like small i just don't know if i should move it over here and put the bed up against like my bed i don't know i'm gonna see how everything goes because this chair can go in a little more so i don't know i'm kind of stuck on that i was thinking maybe i could put it up here too because of my lights right here so i'm still trying to figure that out i don't know what i'm gonna do as far as if i'm gonna keep it here when i lash people because i'll literally be cooped up in a corner over here or if i am going to move it over here so i don't know i'm still figuring that out but i had got this blanket guys from walmart i was literally going to order this off of amazon this little plush pink blanket i was gonna order off of, off of amazon and it was 30 dollars on amazon i got this for 10 dollars from walmart baby i got these fitted sheets um white plain fitted sheets i got this from boss code for seven dollars 
okay and then i got the lash pillow that i showed you guys i don't know if i showed you guys this but i ordered a lash pillow i got that from fab lash glad girl lash something like that and then i showed you guys everything else like my cart and the lash bed itself where i ordered it from in my last vlog so yeah this is how every so yeah this is how everything looks and i just love how everything's coming together i just need to get like like i said a chair for me to be right over my lash people be right over my clients and i'll be good to go so yeah guys this week is just gonna consist of me trying to get some clients now i'm gonna try and reach out to like people that i went to high school with because you know they always say your biggest supporters are strangers so i'm going to get people who i know that genuinely will support my lashes guys i suck so i just came from target um i was supposed to vlog but i forgot to I just wanted to get in, get out. I went to Walmart too first because I had I wanted to go see if Walmart had a chair because I was looking for a chair to use to lash my clients and um, like a rolling chair and they didn't have it at Walmart, shockingly, because you know Walmart always has everything. So I ended up going to Target and I found the last one. So I'm thinking that's fate from God to tell me to get going because um, yeah, it was the last one and it was only $26. So it was right in my alley right in my price range so that was perfect um i'm gonna show you guys how it looks so this is how it looks it's a little office rolly chair so yeah this is how it is i'm gonna assemble it later on um might show you guys might not and then i ordered a little mini humidifier i'm gonna show you guys how it looks because it's so cute i see it on walmart's website but i'm like everything that's usually on walmart's website is usually always on amazon's website i bought this little humidifier from my room because it gets super like humid in here so i bought this because when i took my lash glass they told me that you would need a humidifier i don't know if i updated you guys did i update you guys okay so i have three clients this week can you believe that because i was literally just crying this morning about how i don't have nobody and how i've been looking for clients to lash now that i have everything yes so i got three clients today confirmed and booked with me so um i have one tomorrow one thursday and then one sunday that's crazy because the majority of friends who i asked to lash to help me practice they never fell through and it's like strangers are falling through i'm just i'm just saying i'm just saying Look, I be fantasizing about you, close my eyes and watch you dance I know you don't trust these niggas, I'm just trying to be your man Girl, I come from the street, so that ain't hard to understand But I want you to be mine, and I mean it, I ain't playing I know I look like a player, but just please give me a chance I ain't think about these groupies, man, them bitches just some fans But I know you a real one, and I need you in my hands And right here by my side, that's why I want you to stand If you want it, then you got it, girl, your wish is my command And you just take them off, I'm the one that wear the pants Yeah, I'm gonna lay it down and have you bragging to your friends and now I ain't just talking, I'm gonna show you what I'm saying I was heartless till I found it in you You make me happy and my smile is the proof If I ain't kicking it with you, I'm spending time in the stoop My homies say you changed the nigga and I can't fuck cause it's true I love this vibe, I know you feeling it too. I know you was gonna be my way before we ever spoke You know about the life I'm living, you know about the guns I told And you walk around untouched cause they know why I do the most I can't let you get away and that's why Add three seconds Hold it down for three seconds on the power button Okay, where's the air, bitch? Okay, so there's no air coming out of this. So I'm very confused. Okay guys, we got it. We are in action, people. My little humidifier, I'll probably put it like right here. I think I don't know tell me what you guys think if I should leave it there if I should put it somewhere else but the cord isn't long so it's like I really don't have much of an option so it's gonna have to stay there for now okay so I think I decided I'm gonna put it over I'm gonna just put myself back up in this corner how I had originally just because I don't know I just felt like my room looks so cooped up and 
I don't want people to like feel claustrophobic when they come in here. The only thing is the humidifier, it's gonna have to stay over here because it has to be plugged in, which sucks. So yeah, but everything looks fine over here, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this because I just, I, I was feeling too cramped with it like this. I thought it was gonna look better and save me, like, make it more spacious in here. But I definitely feel like this area just is meant for that. So I'm just gonna leave it here. But this is how everything turned out, guys. And I'm really proud of myself because I did this all by myself. No help. The only thing is I'm gonna be, like, in a corner when I'm doing lashes. But, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's going to be worth it in the end, so that's all that matters. So, yeah. And I feel I feel I feel like I can breathe better with knowing that there's still space over here, you know? And then I have my car over here. So, I I just feel a lot better having everything right here. But, yeah. This is going to be my setup guys and i just cannot believe i did this all by myself i'm just i feel like a proud mother